Ok, pero de algunas palabras. Está, o sea, Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Se quedó escuchando, vea, que hablábamos, pa, teacher. A ver si, a ver si hablábamos de usted o alguna, alguna cosa. Claro. No, pero ya la tenemos bien marcada ahí. All right, how's everybody tonight? Thank you. Everybody okay? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, thank you. So, so, teacher. So, so, why? Because uh, oh. yesterday I was sick. Okay. And what about today? But so, so. Ah, okay. Are you taking medicine? Yes. Okay. Yes, I take it. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so today, as I said yesterday, we're going to finish up with evaluations and comparisons with adjectives and nouns. We're going to do one last activity, and then we're going to start talking about the new topic for section four, which is simple past versus present, uh, past perfect, present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect, yes. You still have two. Yeah. Okay. Simple. All right, let's see. All right, so we have, I have this for you guys here. Hold on. All right, this is it. All right, so we were, hi, Noemisita. Hi, teacher. What happened to you? Not Monday, uh, no Tuesday. No, Monday, yes. Tuesday, yes. Uh, Tuesday, no. <laughs> you were not in class yesterday. I ah, sí, ayer no. Uh-huh. <laughs> eh, estuvo cumpliendo años mi hija. Ah, vaya, pues, ah, pues sí, it's okay. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, so, congratulations. I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see here, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so yesterday we were comparing the, oh, well, we're not comparing, we were evaluating the Audi. Remember we were talking about the Audi yesterday? Audi. Okay. Oh, the car. Yeah, the car. Now, what about this one? A small, older car, two doors, cheap. Older and old. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's an older car. Hold on, I just want to see something. Yes. All right, do me a favor, porque como vamos a terminar today with this topic, I just want you to do the following. Take a picture right now. Take a picture of this car and these adjectives and these um, nouns. Can you take a picture of that right now? Yes. One moment. Yes. Finished? Yes. Yes. All right. Now take a picture of this one. And with this exercise, we're going to be finishing, okay, this topic so we can begin the other one. Pase, pase. Remisita. <laughs> All right, finish the second picture. Yes. yes. All right, so yes, uh, we're going to do this as we did yesterday, okay? We're going to make sentences using enough or too, too many or too much. Uh, we're not comparing, we're evaluating. And here you have to follow the instructions. It says, imagine you're looking for a card to buy. Read the information, then rewrite the opinions below using the words in parentheses. Okay? So you have to use these words in here. Okay? Hoy hay como mucha bulla ahora. No sé dónde es la bulla. Pero ahorita hay que... Ah, yeah, no, visita. That's yours. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, so let's go to the groups. Vamos a empezar ahorita con esta. Teacher. Yes? Teacher. 
uh, first we have to evaluate uh, the, the Toyota. Car. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, mm -hmm. The car, the red car. Right. And, and then, then we do this. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to come back. We're going to check it and then we start a new topic. Okay. Okay. All right. Show, show, show me the picture again, please. Yes, of course. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, so let's go to the groups, guys, okay? So we can finish this topic right now. Hi, Ellie. Ale, Alex and Emmy, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi, Alex, how are you? I'm fine today, better, better than yesterday. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, so are, you're supposed to be in one group already, Alex. Alex? Alex? La. Pero creo que vamos a comparar ya, ya los dos juntos. No, 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 we're not comparing right now, Eli. We are doing the evaluation. Ah. Only uh, red car. Only, yeah, only the red car evaluating okay. and then the other exercise about the sentences. Okay. 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 Okay, entonces, y ese. The first is star. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. The, the car is. Uh, is too small. Is too small. The car is. Okay. Is too older. Car. Older car. Older car es como viejo. Como viejo. Pero viejo, viejo. es now. Mm, Pero older no. o, o, o de, o de años pasados. ¿Cómo es de girls? ¿Cómo dice cuando el pie, de pasta de año del carro? Es, es viejo también, o sea, old es viejo y older es como más viejo es más viejo ah ok es como big es cuando uno es que acuérdese que older es la forma comparativa uh -huh. el adjetivo uh -huh. yes ok 
Tiene razón la teacher. Entonces, sí se podría decir, the car is to older car. No, vea, porque vamos a repetir. Oh, the car is... Is very... Older enough. O oh, very, very older car. Sí, también very... Very older. Está yeah. bien, con, usamos es very older. Very, which one? very older car. No, 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 porque no. older ya, es, ya está haciendo como eh, como bastante. ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces ya very older. Y el ya de no tú, ni tú tampoco. No. ¿Cuál? Ahí en the car is two older car. No, tú ya no. Tú no, vea, tampoco. Ah, pero espérame, espérame, espérame. The car is older. Lo que, pasa que, lo que pasa que ahí el older sí están comparándolo con el, con el otro. Ah, ok. Entonces esta no lo usamos. O haga la comparativa en esa nada más. Ah, ok. All right. okay. Con el, en el Audi mm -hmm. que vimos ayer. Ok. The Toyota is... Ajá. Le voy a decir a los chicos. Ok. En el de older. ¿verdad? Older, solo sí. es ese día, sí. Is not, is not expensive enough. Okay. And uh, the number there, the number three. 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 Is two. And guys, 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 for older. That one you have to compare. In, in, in which one? The one that says older car, I think it says. For that sentence, you have to compare. The Audi with the older car. Uh -huh. The red car right. with the Audi, yes. But ah, that's the only okay. sentence. Ah, okay, okay. So this, we, can, we can say um, the Audi Mm. Is is not comfortable uh, as the older car. Say it again. The Audi is 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 comfortable. It's more comfortable as no. It's comfortable. I no sé. And then. No, the only one that I want you to compare is older than. The other ones are evaluations. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. The only one that you're comparing is older. The other ones are evaluations. Mm -hmm. Give me an example, please. Like you can say that... Mm. I, I think we... We, yeah. we only have to do the evaluating sentences with yeah. the older car. Sure, yeah, you're right. Yeah, forget it, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right, so you're right. So we, we already did that. Okay. And, and one of the sentences is, this car is cheap enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. The car doesn't have enough doors. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. 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 We were with the right way. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. The <laughs> thing is like one of the groups told me, but you're comparing in that sentence. But yeah, you're right. No, that's okay. Just do the uh, evaluation. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, okay. So, Toyota is too comfortable. Yes, it's um, um, My dear teacher. Hi. I have a question. Yes. In the first, in the first uh, sentences, there isn't a uh, um, parenthesis. Toyota uh -huh. has only two doors. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I changed the, the, the sentence with Toyota has 
uh, has has hasn't enough doors. Hasn't enough doors? Doesn't have enough doors. The, the, the question is the original is Toyota has only two doors. Okay. And uh, and then yeah, I I change the sentences with uh, Toyota hasn't doesn't have and, uh, and doesn't have doesn't have yeah doesn't have an outdoors. Mm -hmm. And the and the other one, Audi mm -hmm. is too expensive. Audi mm -hmm. is Audi isn't expensive enough. Uh, in the All parentheses right. have sure. ha, uh, not enough. Not, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. And the in the other one that third Toyota uh, is too comfortable. 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 Me va a enseñar a hablar esas palabras, teacher. Comfortable. Comfortable. And the fourth, uh, Toyota is too spacious. Toyota is too spacious. Yes. And the other one, the last Toyota is, is, isn't all enough. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's all, teacher. Okay. What about the, uh, you finished everything, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I work with, uh, with Norma, that sentence, I uh, have a question there and the first, because okay. I I don't have uh, made the 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 other the other sentences. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi happened? teacher. Hi. <laughs> we have a, a question. Uh, just for uh, be clear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we have an adjective enough yes, is yeah. after the big enough yes after the adjective okay uh, in the second one audi is uh, isn't expensive enough okay okay audi isn't expensive enough that's fine okay that's okay the, you're finished <laughs> the question we have so you're finished now. And just uh, the first, Toyota has only two doors. Okay. And in this case, it don't have a word in parentheses. Okay, so in that case, you can do whatever, whatever sentence that you feel uh, like. Uh -huh. Oh. All right. Okay. And okay. Thank you. Just one meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. The number five. The number okay, five. The number five quedaría así. Toyota isn't all enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Is everybody with me now? Yes. Okay, so let's see. What do we have then for 
Can you tell me some of the sentences that you came up with? The small car, two doors, cheap, slow, and uncomfortable? Yes. yes. The car doesn't have enough doors. The, the, the car doesn't have enough for which one? Ah, enough doors. doors. Okay. okay, okay, very good. Another one? The car is cheap. The car? Is too cheap. Ah, the car is too cheap. Very good. Another one, guys. The red, the red car is too old. Mm -hmm. It's too old. Uh -huh. It's too old instead of too older. All right, very good. Anything else? The car is too small. Uh -huh. The car is too small. All right, very good. Okay. Toyota is, isn't, too uncom isn't too comfortable. Toyota is? Isn't too comfortable. Isn't too comfortable. All right, very good. Okay, very good. Let's see. What about the other one? The other, ex oops, the other exercise that was here. Imagine you are looking uh, for a car to buy. Read the information, then rewrite the opinions below using the words in parentheses. Elmer, what do you have for number one? Toyota has only two doors. Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota is um Toyota is hasn't tiene palabra doesn't have doors. ¿Cuál era la palabra? Doesn't have Elmer. Doesn't uh, doesn't have sí, en doors. No tiene, ¿verdad? Toyota doesn't have doesn't have enough doors all right no, okay sure. very good anybody else with the for number one any other sentences or any other possibilities toyota has enough doors okay sure all right anything else hi esmeralda toyota is too small <laughs> all right very good also very good audi is too expensive uh-huh eli Larin, what do you have for that one uh, Audi, Audi is, isn't, mm -hmm. isn't enough, isn't expensive enough. Audi isn't expensive go. enough? Enough. Mm, any other isn't possibility? Cheap. Isn't cheap enough? Yes. Cheap All right, enough. because you're Audi saying it's too expensive. Cheap. All right, mm -hmm. okay, very good. What about number three? Toyota isn't comfortable enough. Walter, what do you have? Toyota is too uh, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. 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 Uh -huh. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. No. Comfortable. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. All right. Very good. Comfortable. Yes. Very nice. Any other? Any other uh, possibility for number for number three? Teacher, I have uh, a question. Toyota is too small. All right. Uh, what, what was your question? Uh, in the case, the Toyota is older than Audi. Is correct? The Toyota is older. Yeah. Older than Audi? Yeah, but in, in that way you're, you're, you're using the comparative form of older. I mean, of okay. old. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. okay All right, for number four, Toyota is not as spacious. What do, what do you have, Carlos Alberto? Any other possibility? Toyota is too small. Too Toyota small. Is all right, very good. And let's see. Um, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ramiro, can you do number five? Hi, Ramiro. Ramiro, your microphone is off, Ramiro. Hi, teacher. Hi. So, I don't have any idea about... You don't have any idea? Oh, no. What about Roberto Garcia? Can you help Ramiro? Oi, Ramiro and the Lost, como Heidi. The street, Toyota, here. I'm the same like Ramiro. No, Toyota. 
That's okay. What happens? <laughs> um, the idea is to, say, is to say the same idea in a different way. Toyota yeah. is saying new enough. For example, Toyota isn't new enough. New, new enough. enough. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Very good. Toyota right. isn't modern. Also, Toyota isn't modern enough. Modern enough. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Um, any questions about these guys about evaluations and, and comparisons with adjectives, or we are doing okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. A ver, and before we continue with the class, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? Así como al día. Pues yo me puse a trabajar y de repente por el examen intermedio. Very good. Section yeah, 4, 4.2, 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. nice. Section 4. Excellent. Va a haber algún otro examen o ese era el último. No, eh, el, el, el final. Es el, el final. Hay dos, eh, Roxana. El, 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 el meter y el meter final. El final, ya. Yeah. Ah, pues yo me puse a hacer todo y de repente ya no había nada. Y me dijeron, <laughs> haga su certificado. <laughs> ah, pues ya terminó todo. Ajá, uh -huh. I, oh I don't know what. Oh, I don't know why, but I was working, working, working. Yo no había nada. All right, Ramiro, what about you? It was nothing. You finished? <sighs> no, teacher. Section one, Ramiro. No, section two, teacher. Oh, my two, gosh. <laughs> le voy a poner, le voy a poner sí. queja a Senia. Oh, sí. <laughs> All right, Roberto Garcia, what about you? I'm the 4.2. 4. Ah, okay. Excellent. All right, Jennifer, the both Jennifers? Jennifer Acosta uh, and Jennifer? Uh, voy a empezar el examen intermedio. Excellent. Elmer finished everything. Um, yeah. Everything. I'm section yeah, Okay, very good. Um, all right. Okay. You can make your certificate. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what about Jaime and Walter and Mauricio? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Noemí, ¿cómo va usted? En la 1 me va a decir. Eh, no, tampoco usted, no. En el 3 <laughs> voy, pero... Excelente. <laughs> En el 3 voy y ayer que lo quería empezar, eh, mm -hmm. terminar, eh, me salía el mensaje de cuando uno lo está usando mucho, me ah, imagino que sí, habían sí, varios. Sí, claro. y, y ahí me quedé, vea. All right, ok, bueno, creo que vamos yeah. casi que todo por los mismos lados, solo Ramiro se me está quedando atrás. ¿Está en número rojo, Ramiro? I'm kidding, Ramiro. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's, let's continue with this new topic for section four. And is this one right here, present perfect versus simple past? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Section four, two. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Okay. So what is the difference? Let's see, Daniel, can you read the first one, please? Danielito, no? Yes, yes, yes. I am. I am. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the difference? I've been to London. I went to London last week. Okay, so Daniel, what is the difference between those two sentences? Okay, uh, maybe I think that the, the first one uh, is talking about the experience. I think. It's talking uh, about what? Experience that this person maybe was there one time ago. Okay. And I went to the, the, the London last week. Uh, I think that maybe... And information. When, when London... <laughs> okay. So, all right. So I want you to pay attention to this, guys. When we talk about the simple past, so the second sentence, I went to London last week. The activity is finished. Okay? It's not happening anymore. And it won't happen anymore. I began and I finished it. Whereas I've been to London, I have, I've been there before and maybe I will go again. The activity is not really finished. That is the big difference, okay? Yes. 
You understand that, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Solo como cinco contestan y los otros veinte. Eh, ¿Puede volver a explicar ahorita, por favor? All right. Okay. Okay. El inter teacher. Y por ahí hay un perrito. Teacher, algo teacher, no. teacher. Oh, wow. Ay, que no puedo teacher. callarla. Es la mía. Mi chucha. No es. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, could you explain lo, lo que le comprendo es que puede estar... El mercito, el, el al mercito, why do you speak Spanish? Spanish, only in English. Of course. I understand yeah. the, the, the pitches. Is, uh, uh, when you say something, uh, it, it, it pasa y pasa y pasa y pasa. O sea, puede pasar en el pasado y en el futuro. ¿El qué? La, en la oh. primera... En la primera no, situación, no, ¿está no, pasando no, o pudo no, haber pasado? No. No, es present. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> ok, él me dice, ok, and pay attention, ok, ya no okay. hay perrito ladrando, all right? Yeah. <laughs> ok, so, in sentence number two, it's simple past, ok? Yeah. I went to London last week. I went and I came back. It's finished. Yeah. All right, I'm not going back to London again. All right. It began in one moment and it finished in another moment. Okay. Now, in the first sentence, which is present perfect, it says, I've been to London. All right. I was in London and maybe I will go to London again. So the activity is not finished. There is a possibility that it won't, that it will happen. Maybe and travel to London again. When, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I say, I have been working all day. All right. So I'm not finished working. I, I will keep on working a little bit after the class. If I say, I worked all day, I finished. Or if I say, I ate two pupusas this morning, I'm not eating pupusas right now. And I won't eat pupusas later. I finish eating it. So simple past is when the activity is finished. When you use present perfect, mm, the activity is not so finished yet. All right. Let's get uh, one okay. question. Yes. Ask me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it is. Uh, I have been in London. <coughs> it depends what you want to say. The the preposition changes the meaning a little bit. Oh, okay. But it's pretty much the same. All right. So we have present perfect, simple past. Okay. Time. I Look at this been. one. Okay. I say finished and finished. finished. So there are two actions. One is finished and the other one is not finished. Simple past. Oh, yeah. Uy, no. Este, este de, donde dice present, tiene que ser present perfect. Se me corrió para allá. <laughs> Salió corriendo. Yeah. So, past y present. Oh, run away. I know. I went to London and I, I went to London last. I know, mire, todo es distorsionada esta cosa. I went to London last week and I've been to London. I went to London last week is simple past. I've been to London is present perfect. Okay. Clear. Yeah. When we talk about usually for simple past, we have a specific time. For example, je, je, um, yesterday, okay, or you say last week or last year or five years ago, okay, because the activity finished. It had a moment where it finished. And not continue the sentence. Aha, uh -huh, no, it's paragraph. done. It's done, right. So, when people past, actions that are not connected with the present, the present. finished, okay. all right? Okay. They began and finished in a moment. The Titanic sunk in 1912. No se sigue hundiendo. Ya no, ya no, ya no está pasando eso ahorita. That was 1912. Long time ago. Ninguno de nosotros habíamos nacido. <laughs> All right? Yes. Actions no in the past that are chronologically ordered. All right? So we have, he came in, sat on the sofa, and started waiting. Okay, so those are actions that have like a sequence. Repeated actions in the past, and that's when we use used to. Okay, ya lo vimos también. I took English courses when I was 12. I used to take English courses. Now, I don't take them anymore. 
All right, very good. Next one. When after talking about general experience, we give details. When, he, when we have to be specific and answer questions like when, where, why, and how. I've been to London this month. I stayed in a big hotel. I visited Trafalgar Square and bought some souvenirs. All right? So when, uh, I guess I was there a couple last month, all right? Where, why, and how? When do we use present perfect? When we talk about general experience without giving a specific information. We don't have to know when you did something. We want to know if you did it or not. Tarantino has directed lots of blockbusters, but... Tantino directed Kill Bill in 2003. I've never seen the Eiffel Tower, but I didn't see the Eiffel Tower when I was in France. Jack has written a script, but he wrote the script last week. All right. Let's continue here. When do we use present perfect? Look at the X. It's the past. And here's the present Somehow, present perfect connects the past with the present. present. All right? Actions that are finished in the past but connected with present. Actions in the past affected the present. You can see the result. I have eaten a banana. All right? A plane has landed. Okay, a banana and the plane. <laughs> when do we use present perfect? When we want to express an unfinished period of time that started in the past but continues now. I have taken three tests this semester. This semester is not finished. Is it still going on? Helen has been to London once in her life. Her life is not finished. Dakota, is it still going on? All right. All right. No, no se ha muerto Helen todavía, entonces pueda que vuelva a ir. My grandparents have seen Hamlet this week. This week is not finished. Is it still going on? Now. How do we make the present perfect? Y es por eso, Elmer, que cuando usted me decía that Toyota hasn't enough doors, creo que era su ejemplo. No puede decir hasn't, porque ese ya es presente perfecto. No, pero no me cayó adentro en España. Me All right, guys, pay attention. Yeah. Acuérdese que se oye todo. Yes, teacher. Thank you. That's okay. All right, so affirmative sentences, we make them using the subject plus the auxiliary have or has plus past participle. So, in, for present perfect, mis niños y niñas, tenemos que aprendernos los pasados participios de los verbos. Otra vez. All right? Again and again and again. Again and again and again and again for the rest of your lives. All right? <laughs> okay, that's your homework every single day. De lo contrario, usted no va a poder decir, yo he estado enfermo, teacher. Ay, ¿cómo me va a decir yo he estado enfermo? O yo he estado enferma, o he estado ocupada, por eso no he estado en clase. Sobre todo me lo va a decir en pasado, y aunque no me lo quiere decir en pasado. So you need to practice your past participle verbs. I have seen, he has seen. Remember that we use have for I, you, we, they. And we use has for he, she, it. And the past participle of the verb. Este, el pasado participio no va a cambiar para ninguna persona. Lo que cambia es el auxiliar. O have, o has, no hay otro. Okay? That's affirmative sentences. When we talk about negative sentences, <coughs> we use have, not, or haven't, or has, not, or hasn't. So I haven't seen, he hasn't seen. All right, that would be negative. Not, yeah. You for, for example, I can say I have I haven't 
been to Spain. All right? All Never right. in my life, pero como no me voy a morir todavía, primero Dios pueda que vaya un día. All right? I haven't right. been there, but maybe I will go one day. All is there, possible. Everything is possible. Interrogative uh, sentences. Then you have have or has at the very beginning. Then is the subject. Then is the past participle. Okay? So you say, have I seen? Has she seen? Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Who can I ask? If un voluntario have... hombre. Quiero ver un voluntario. Oops. Un voluntario niño. Ninguno. No hay niños. No hay niños. No es que hay hombres. A ver, un, un, un hombre, hombre así, bien hombre. Danielito, a ver, Daniel. Mi, oh, oh, oiga, a Danielo está más rojo. Ramiro está más rojo. Ramiro está más rojo. Excelente. A ver. Vaya, pues, Ramiro, solo para que no diga. A ver, Ramiro. Have you. Have you. I don't know. Mm, 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 mm. Have you written a book, Ramiro? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very good. A ver, otro hombre. Daniel dijo que también, ¿verdad, Danielito? Uh, yes. But, but, <laughs> but one day I will. Of yeah, course, but... yes. Thank you, Ramiro. Very good. Daniel, have you finished the platform? No, I haven't. Ah, Daniel, what happened? <laughs> all right. Elmer, have you finished all the platform? Yes, I have. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Noemi. Have you met your teacher? Yes, I have. Excellent. Very good. All right. Uh, Walter Hernandez. Have you yes. uh, have you studied French before? No, I haven't. All right. Anita Dimas. Okay. Um, <laughs> have you, um, I don't know, have you spoken to, have you spoken to Norma Campos in this class? No, I haven't. Ah, all right. Okay, very good. So remember that this is how you ask the questions and this is how you answer them. Por eso en el presente simple, si a veces decimos, do you have a pen? Y la gente contesta con yes, I have. Eso es porque lo piensan en español. Cuando dicen, sí, yo tengo. Pero yes, I have no significa yo tengo. All right. Esa es la respuesta corta del presente perfecto. All right. Que simple y sencillamente estamos diciendo sí o no. All right. Okay. A ver. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let's take a picture of this, please. Can you take a picture of this? Yes. Wait. Tof, ¿qué estás haciendo? Oops, perdón. No, mi cita. <laughs> All right, everybody finished? Yes. Okay. So now what could I want. You, could you put the the mouse in your computer, please? Click. For what? Don't say that word. <laughs> no, porque si lo le doy click, le voy a enseñar la respuesta. Mm. All right. Okay. So uh, what I want you to do is I want you to go back to your groups, okay? Pero no pueden usar Google. Quiero ver qué tantos realmente se pueden, cuántos verbos se pueden en el pasado participio. So, no usan si Google. siempre vamos okay? a tener Google, teacher. ¿Por qué? Porque oh. sí, siempre está allí. No, pero no lo use, ya. <risa> el verbo sea rebelde. How do you say pan francés, teacher? Pan francés y pan francés, bye. Ya terminó la plataforma. 
Ya vamos a hacer que repita el módulo, no se preocupe, este Mercito. Así que tremendo, Dios. Wow. Voy a mandar a Esmeralda, Ramiro y Roberto a, lo, a un grupo. Thank you. Sí, este, no, no estoy seguro. No estoy seguro tampoco. Which one? Carlos, Carlos, and Roberto, and Norma. Live With... and live. Mm, señorita. <laughs> live. Live, ajá, uh -huh, and? Live. Live, live. <laughs> yeah, live is left. 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 Live. Ay, ¿vieron mis respuestas? ¿Vieron las respuestas? No. Ah, ok. <laughs> We are writing. Ah, ok. Left. Uh, feed. Is. Yes. Teacher. Is the same of the I class. have a, a question, teacher. What is your question? I don't understand. Okay. I understand. Okay. I don't understand. With uh, uh, when you say sin. Mm -hmm. It is the C uh, as seen the participle, mm -hmm. the past participle. And, and when you say cut, it's cotton. No. No. It's cut. Uh -huh. cut, cut. Only cut. Yeah. It's irregular verb. Yeah. Es lo que I me mean, seen is, see is also an irregular verb. Pero dentro de los irregulares, hay otros más irregulares porque se mantienen. Um, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Cut. Right. Put, put, put. That's another one. Okay. In the next one, Ramiro, work. What is regular verb? Uh, ED. Yeah. ED. So what is the pronunciation, Ramiro? Word. 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 With T. With T, yeah? Worked. With T, yes. Word. With T. Yeah. Uh -huh. Word. Excellent, Ramiro. Very good. Yeah. Okay. What about the other one, Normita? <coughs> uh, live. 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 No. Excellent. Repeat, Normita, please. 
Live. 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 What is the past participle of live? Live. No. No. Live. Live. I don't remember. Live. Mm, live. Déjelo así, pues. No van a hacer trampa. Live. No van a Google it. Ahorita estoy con Google. No. Live. Feel. 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 Without a, a, a one we e be the field. I don't know. Bring. 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 No, bye, bye. No vayan a hacer trampa. Ramiro y no hagan que hacer una trampa. Ramiro, es bow. ¿Ya lo busco? Y sin una E dice que es. ¿Quién dice, Roxana? Ah, es que es la única que teníamos duda porque no la encontraba. No sabemos, Pete. Pete. Ahí déjela, déjela. Y ahora vamos a decir todos. Pero ya aquí la, la hicimos sin ver. Excellent, very good, very nice. Teníamos dudas ahí. Ah, ok, ok. Ya casi no, vamos no. al grupo y se los digo, ok. Ok, okay. Excellent, very good. Almost done here. All right, give me a second. <laughs> Hello, no. Hi, Alan. Hello, Hi. teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, also. Also? <laughs> okay, yeah. so how many you know and how many you don't know? We don't know five and okay. we know nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's a good number. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go back and we're going to tell them, okay? I'm going to share them with you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Right. So let's work with this one right now, guys. Okay. The past participle or the PP of C, what is it? C? Sin. So, sin. 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 Cut. 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 Sin. 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 Cat. Cat is el meow. <laughs> All right, this is cut. cut. All right, what cut. about cut. work? What is the past work. participle? Work. 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 Very nice. Yeah. Good pronunciation. Work. What is the past participle of leave? Left. 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 Very good. What about feed? Fed. Fed. F-E-D. Fed. Fed. Mm -hmm. What about Fear. bring? Broach. What about Bro. drink? Bro. Drunk. 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 Okay, ya lo vamos a ver. Buy. Boat. Boat. Very good. Go. Boat. Boat. Gone. 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 Very good. Eat. Eating. 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 Very good. Catch. Cow. Cash. Cut. 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 Yes. Arrive. Arrive. Arrived. 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 Very good. Make. Make. Made. 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 <laughs> all right, made. made, all right. Give. Given. 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 All right, do. Given. Done. 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 And teach. Taught. 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 All right. How do you say? Taught. Taught. There you go, guys. Taught. That's the spelling. Touch. Check your spelling. No touch, no. Touch. 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 Yes. With T. Yeah, then. Yes, T O T. T O T. Is the spelling correct? 
Yes. 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 All right. Work. Yes. Okay. So tomorrow we're going. Tomorrow we have a class. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So tomorrow we're going to keep on practicing about um, simple past and present perfect. Les sugiero que si no se pueden todavía sus verbos en pasado participio, empiecen a memorizárselos ya. Yeah. All right. Yes. Eh, All right. Yes. Yo les mandé en el, al WhatsApp, les mandé una, un chart que yo me encontré de un profesor que ha hecho por colores y los ah, ha vaya. hecho en orden. De los que son con E, Brim, Brown, Room, Brim, Brown, Room y los que están, se repiten el inicio, y el, el inicio, el, el medio, se, eh, el normal se hace diferente y el último. Okay. Es igual al, él ha hecho todos los cuadritos de colores y ah, como vaya, van en ya orden, ya se ven, los acabo de compartir. Gracias. Uh, ah, thank, you. Mí, ya. thank you. Pero, pero que no les quede solo en la foto que les compartió la compañera. <risa> ¿Y a dónde ¿verdad? lo compartió? En el WhatsApp group. Ok. All right. Entonces quiero que me impriman y lo pongan así en, en, en el techo de su cuarto para es que lo Es para vean eso. Todo para imprimir. Así a colores. Sí, porque está con colores. Foto de perfil. Póngalo como, no sé, pero no solo lo voy a dejar ahí porque ahí no me sirve. Más lo que okay. la compañera trabaja. Pero ustedes ahí no se lo aprenden. <laughs> sería how many, how many verbs? Ah, no importa, que se pierda uno por día sería genial. <laughs> por colores que se lo aprenda. Claro. Porque All right. está por colores. Ah, ok, ya ve, qué bonito. Very nice. Thank you, Roxana. That was very nice of you. All right, guys. So tomorrow we're going to keep on talking about past, uh, present perfect and simple past. Y vamos a hacer ejercicios para identificar realmente en qué momento uso el presente perfecto y en qué momento uso el simple past. A veces nos tendemos a confundir en el uso, ¿verdad? Pero we have to practice. Y cuando practicamos, se nos hace más fácil. All right? Okay. okay. All right, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being in class. Have a great night. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.